You hear the crowd trying to give him some, some extra energy, some extra motivation. They're not used to seeing this team lose uh, like they did to open pool play. 0-2. Again, China's losses coming to Hungary and Germany day one with Song Keishin, Ma, Chi, and Ha. So they'll do the customary coin toss before the game. Whoever wins the coin toss can decide to possess the ball or, or give it up. Most teams decide to possess the ball because if you don't get it in, in uh, regulation, you get it in overtime. We, I don't think we, we haven't had a single overtime game yet. Not one here at this first edition of the 3x3 U23 World Cup. We've had some budget beaters. We've, had, we've definitely had some Tissot buzzer beaters. But uh, no overtime games, unless my memory is failing me. But I got the memory of an elephant. And an elephant never forgets. We get this one started. Shitanu. Soft touch in the paint. Right to business go the Romanians. Song. No. Rebound. And a scoop. So just get ready. Every score for China is going to be met with loud applause. Parau. Oh, that's some good D. And a good box out, too, from Song. So a fundamentally sound possession, defensive possession for China. Song gets it back. Goes straight to the hole. She has been fun to watch. 2-1 game. Romania come up empty on the possession. So for Romania, it was a six-point loss to Uganda, followed by a three-point loss to Germany, and a three-point loss to Hungary as the world number 10. Puts them in a position that they are in now, which is not in position to compete for a medal. But they could, uh, they could end China's hopes. China fall to 0-3. It'll be a done dealio for them. And Uganda would be smiling if uh, Romania can pull out a win here. Because that would put Uganda in, joining Hungary. So I'm sure they're, they're sitting somewhere in here, keeping an eye on this game. As we close out pool, pool play today. And solidify those uh, quarterfinal teams for tomorrow's medal rounds. Kyle Montgomery in your ear. Having an absolute magnificent time here in Xi'an. 2-1 game, minute and a half into it. I've seen a lot of what this city has to offer. I went to the uh, Muslim Quarter last night. Got to experiment with some, some delicious foods. Very unique, but uh, delicious nonetheless. That was pretty delicious. Tasty two-piece from Shitanu. Oh, Song, oh. Has a scratch on the record. Song misses it. Shitanu. She's also off the mark. Went to see the Terracotta Warriors. Also went to the city wall. And I think Song hit that one from the city wall. That was deep. And China's up one. Song, defense. Can she give you some offense? Missed it. You. Battling underneath, using that, that size to get the rebound. And draw the foul. There's Song setting her feet. And 
and use shot off the rim. Foul called on Romania. They're now at three fouls in the game. None on China and a one point lead for China. They need a win, they need a win bad. Not only do they need a win bad in this one, they're gonna need a win bad against Uganda, who is now two and one after a, after a big W over Germany. Oh, song. So Germany, two and one. Uganda, two and one. Romania, 0 oh and three, they're out of it. Hungary, the class of the group, at three and oh. So I didn't mean to count Germany out earlier. They'll have a big game against Hungary. And second place will likely come down between Germany, Uganda, and depending on what, uh, what China can do. Five to three. Song with the D, that's off Chitanu. Also, a couple of fellas' games left as well. Talking about some big ones. The one after this one, Pool B, Netherlands and France. Oh, my goodness. We'll get to that one when it's time. But right now, we're going to see who's going to win this one. Five to three in the game with big implications. Romania with five fouls now. China still yet to commit one. So while Romania's got five fouls, China's got five points. Romania with three. Song. String music. Hey, look at Song again. No hesitation. Great touch on the J. And China extends the lead, 6-3. Barau couldn't connect in his song. I'll show you how to do it. Connecting like Bluetooth as China leads it by five. Quick answer, though, from Romania. Song. Oh, she's the truth. Chitanu misses. So Song is just giving Romania the blues so far in this game. They can do nothing with her. She's been more money than the Forbes list thus far. She'll look to keep it going. Another look at song stroke then to the crib she's doing it all for team china she tanu meantime foul on the shot shooting one and misses it hot comes down with the rebound who are you kicking it to this time, it's you. Not you, but you know what I mean. 11-4. Seven point game. China opening up a can as they open up the game. 6.15 left. As they sprint to 21, this, this Chinese team looks a lot different than the team we saw lose to Hungary and uh, fell to sleep against Germany. In a game where they only scored, I mean, believe it or not, eight points. Uh, crazy, right? I know. 
啊，也是罗马尼亚队的头衔。利用无双的掩护，朱莱诺望着突破上篮。Nice drive. No points to show for it. And a shot clock violation. My singing, my singing is second to none. You don't know a commentator who's got better vocals. Good girl. There's Ma. She is. She's bad on the shot. Oh, or Bond. Going to her, the baseline, but she gets locked up. Ma Song gives it up. Song probably had a layup there. Not sure why she gave it up. She gets it to Ha. And Ha makes it 12-4. Parau, tough shot. Five minutes to play. Ha, trying to set something up. Oh, Parau. Oh no, that's an offensive foul. Foul number four on Team China. So you see this offensive explosion. From, from China, and you see the offensive skill they have. That speaks to the defense that Germany played in that 11 to 8 win over them. Depending on how things play out with China, you know, the rest of this game, and in their final game against Uganda, I think that'll be the one they'll be looking, they'll be looking back on. Ma gets tied up. It's a heady play there from Romania. Parau tied her up and uh, earned the possession. Chita Nu. Nope. Four and a half to play. Song. Whoa. He almost gets to the point to where you expect her to make it almost every time she shoots it. Long bomb. Or Bond, not enough on it. Oh, we're much on that one too. You couldn't hit it. That's gonna go out of bounds. It's gonna be red ball. You will have it, top of the key. Ma to Song, open like a double click. She's having connection problems on that shot. Another look at you. How tough was that shot? Much easier for Song. So graceful. She goes to the cup and lays it up and in off the glass. So as they come out of a timeout, Romania's got some major work to do. Eight point deficit. Under four minutes to play. Shitanu. Parau. It's missed. Now Song's got it. She's dangerous with the rock in her hands. Five thousand Romania four uh, so far on China, and most importantly, 
A uh, eight point advantage. Twelve to four. It stands, but can song add two more drops to the bucket. And she is hot, comb hot. Take another look. You just cannot give her a look. Not with the way she's shooting in this one. Oh, Song. Cookies. Song misses it. Fourteen to four, ten point game with under three minutes to play. And the ball in the hands of China's most dangerous player. She gives it up. I wouldn't be surprised if she got it back, but Orban is whistled for the foul in the meantime. That's the sixth foul on Romania. They got no more to give. Free throws will follow for China, who are looking to make up for an 0-2 start and a very disappointing beginning to, uh, to their pool play action as the number one team on the women's side, number one in the world, U23. And uh, I mentioned again, they, they were only outscored by 10 points in U23 Nations League as they were runners up to France. So just barely missed out. They won five events. Ha misses the first free throw. Shoots the second and misses that too, but Ma with the rebound. Now Ma gets it to Ha. Ha spins, comes up short. 2.20 left. Romania again in the penalty. China, no troubles in that category with four fouls. So with 2.09 left, this is going to more than likely be an easy Chinese win. Foul called on Barau. Only two free throws. First to 21 wins at China. Just might get there before the limit. Maybe not. Mom misses from the free throw line. She's making her national team debut. But did play, and she will play at the Faisu uh, World University League. That's next month. And Xiamen. She knocks down one to make it a 15 to four game. That's an 11 point cushion for you math experts out there. Shot on point for Vilcini. Song deed up that time. So uh, Shita Nu had had enough. He said, I've seen enough. No more songs. Cut the music off. This time it's you. The nose for the ball. She's trying to get rid of it. To prevent the jump ball. Good hustle, good fight. Song was trying to help her up, but she almost fell herself. Minute 38 and counting. Romania just want to make this look a little bit more respectable. Following the miss, Sonia Christiana Vilcinci. The eight point game. Then you know. Oh! 
Good D at the rim there. Minute to play. China just gonna work the clock. Try to obviously get as many points as they can get, but we'll play it smart the rest of the way here. Comfortable lead. Song kicks it. You mishandled it. They gave her some space anyway. And she makes it count again. Reservations for two as China leads 17 to seven. Ha steps back, tries to add another two. As they understand if they can force a three-way tie, two and two, they're gonna need as many points as they can possibly get. Or the bond. Good move. Ma, good patience. Right pass or the bond, but Ma whistled for the tech. She was playing the ball in that uh, restricted semicircle. Right. She's playing the rock in the, in the semi-circle. Yeah, and that, that's why uh, you'll see the Chin Xi. Shooting a free throw and the possession also over to uh, Romania. But it, it's not going to matter now. This is, uh, this is the China team that I think most people expected to see day two. And they show up in this one. See if they can add two points to their total here with 1.7 seconds left. Again, want to get as many points as you can get. They got that up before the buzzer, but it's going to end up being an 18 to 8 win for China over Romania. Romania, they come up empty here in Xi'an.